When Hollywood comes looking for someone to play a sexy, eligible mm -hmm. bachelor, they seem to call this guy every time. James Denton, he's made a name for himself as the hunky handyman Mike Delfino on the hit drama series Desperate Housewives. Well, now, you guys, he's at it again. This time, moving from Wisteria Lane to the town of Middleton, where he plays Dr. Sam Radford on the Hallmark series Good, Good Witch. Good Witch. And Dr. Sam is a single dad, of course, which makes him available. Hot. Who quickly falls under the spell of his enchanting neighbor, Cassie Nightingale. Take a look. I'm sorry about earlier that conversation. No, it's okay to be hurt, Sam. She cheated on me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, really. It's just, I, I only want to apologize. Mm. For being right again? <laughs> the <laughs> bottom line is people don't change. But sometimes they do surprise you. Sometimes, sometimes they, they do. Sometimes they do. They really surprise you. Yeah. He's stretching myself. Yes. Can you tell now? Yeah, from the single guy that moves into the neighborhood who's a plumber to the single guy who moves in who's a doctor. You're growing. You're I'm growing. A, I'm like the Robert but, Duvall of television. You're a dad. You play a dad in this one, though, and right? And you're a dad in yeah. real life as yeah. well. So, so what are you? What are you channeling there? You know, you it's, never learned how to plumb. So, what are you learning about being a dad? No, well, I'm certainly not going to operate on anybody. But uh, it's, it, it does help having kids. I mean, yeah. you do you can tap into things you never thought that would mean anything to you. Like uh, my, the kid who plays, Reese Matthew Bond plays my son, who's a 15-year-old kind of rebellious youth. And we moved to Middleton to get him out of New York where he was getting into a lot of trouble. So you can tie into a lot of things that, uh, it's amazing the things that almost bring you to tears that, yeah. that I would have had to really work hard for Stretch. years. Yeah, really, how do I find that emotion? Mm -hmm. And it's like right on the surface. Yeah. You know, it's just right there, so that's Neither of your children, I know right after Desperate Housewives, you moved back to where your wife is from, Minneapolis, yeah. just to escape sort of that L.A. scene with your kids, right? Yeah, you know, L.A.'s a great city. It was really fun if you're single. But for kids, it wasn't perfect. And yeah. we have a lot of family in Minneapolis, and so they love it up there. You just dress for it. You, you know? just gotta know what yeah. you're getting into. You do you can't you get to go there and complain about the weather working no. on the Hallmark Channel and working on this type of a project you said it's just it's enriching what yeah. is it about this type of project that that you tap into and it's funny that's I've been doing a lot of that as yeah. you know since Housewives is over and I think it's just there's a need that Hallmark fills that, that I think is largely going unmet it's, yes. um, there's a real kind of hunger. a hunger for thing you know you know what you're gonna get family friendly. and the challenge which I think we're meeting pretty well as is uh, Bill uh, Abbott and Michelle Vickery are doing a great job of finding things that are compelling and appealing, and it can still be interesting without people being evil and har horrible to each other. And you That's can watch as a, as a whole family. Yeah, yeah. So tired of seeing people being horrible to each other. And so, but it can still be really relatable. Mm -hmm. And that's what's fun about it, and right. trying to, and, and creating things that my kids can still watch. And you know, you know you're gonna come away feeling good. And, and the challenge is how do you make that compelling? How old are your kids? Oh, about to be 10 and 12. And so, are they, are yeah, they, they interested? interested in the business? That's the next one. Yeah, my son, as, uh, they're both really talented. They take after their mom. My, my mm -hmm. wife's a great singer. And my son's in his third play. He's in middle school, and they saw him in the middle school play over the high school and brought him over to the high school. Oh, he's only, so he's it only 11. Yeah, Here I know. So go. it begins. Well, oh, it's horrible. you may want to hide the children now at home because right. we're about to play a game because you, at one time, were a sportscaster, weren't you? See, I never should have said that, but yes, I was. I used to do basketball and football on the Are radio. Are you called yeah. games? Is that what you did? I used to, yeah. Well, you're going to call yeah. a game. It's a big game. You've it's, never seen it's a play. This it's way. called KLG versus Hoda. We, oh, have okay. your, we have your mic. All right. And I'm all, okay. I guess here's the ball. <laughs> I guess here's the ball. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> here's the ball. Thank so you. We have two or one. Okay, wait, and I'm covering you. KLG Hoda match. This is a grudge match that's going on for a few years. Kathy Lee's boom pump fake. She goes through off the glass. So just a little Ow, bit long. I got it. This Nobody one. going here's for the rebound. I I now, Hoda has a rebound, one. but it's no, slam dunk by Kathy Lee. Oh, my gosh. Was it not? That was a free throw. So, two free throws. First one is off the back of the rim and good for Hoda. <laughs> How are we doing, Tom? Oh, you get one more I'm shot. Good. One more shot. Take a second one shot right here from the charity stripe. Is up, oh, but off the front edge of the rim, no good. Oh. Underhand, the rare underhand shot by Kathy Lee goes straight through, and she's on fire. Oh. She's two for three for the day, and I think oh. Kathy Lee's going to take the victory. Come on, James, come on out. <laughs> Thank Thank just keep talking, you. absolutely. Just keep talking. You guys That's are great. great. That was so much fun. All right, you can watch Good Witch yeah. Saturday nights on the Hallmark Channel.